Hi, it's Madhu here. Today we are going to look at Google Fords. We don't waste your time, so straight away let's go and see how we can incorporate it into our website. Search for Google Fonts. This is a website where you can get Google Fonts. Search for type of font that you want. For example, you can you can choose from all these. There are so many, but I want I know what I want for example. For example, let me search for Roboto. It has come this one. Click on it and Uh, here it says remove and you can hand according to the to the weight that you want. If you want 300, okay. It is like I have already handed it. Let me remove it. So when you search anything, it will come like that. Then I want to hand it. I select it and hand it like that. Then I come here to the uh, links. You can see link where I have all fonts highlighted. I choose this one. I choose this one. I copy it like that. Copy and paste. I paste it into my website, uh, into my project. What is this? Uh, close. And this is how we do it. We come here, we do paste. We don't paste it right here. We paste it in the HTML header, this area. So we, that is, I comment my work. That is Google font. We Paste that link there. It's massive. Let's control L to control Alter L to refactor to reformat the code. It's now looking better. Go back to CSS. When you look at this home, we are targeting. H2. Science has not yet mastered prophecy. Another H2. Failure is an option and so on. Now, let's open our website to see them in reality. Yeah, this is what we want to change is a massive uh, bolded. So let's change this one to another type of font. Let's go to Python project, then go to SSL uh, uh, cascading style sheet, ready to in ready to now to incorporate the font. Go to the Google font. Now, when we already copied this link, I think, oh, that one we want to incorporate. But in the below, we have the set specific for a specific area. Therefore, we want to get this one, uh, Mansoret. Or, let me... Use this one that is Sacramento so that you can see very clearly the font has changed. Copy 
and uh, paste into Nazareth control V Sacramento then that is all let's check whether it has been changed go to the the website our website is this one education in an investment in knowledge pays the best get knowledge you get paid the best now this is what what we want to see whether it is going to change let's see mm. all right that's all the the change has been there and you know it is looking like mm, not so impressive someone is struggling to read go back and change it uh, another phone not so impressive so we come to the Google phone and we, we don't want that one let's go to the Roboto Roboto we, we uh, let me not use con, uh, shortcuts so that you can see copy and uh, here you come and uh, paste come and paste that here now let's look at the change in our blog let's refresh uh, yeah it has changed right so uh, this one has changed from the free fears that's how we achieve the Google font Remember, that font is going to, to be displayed to any machine, any operating system, and any browser, because it's now coming right from the Google, where all fonts are hosted. But sometimes, some people may need to host it, uh, actually to install it in the operating system, and uh, use them to develop things like Longo, and because... There are unique words, there are unique things. Therefore, if you are not interested in that, we are taking our, our, our own direction of bomb development so, so that we can actually know anyone in the world who is facing our website is seeing it as it was designed. So that is the best of it. And uh, the other thing is that uh, the web and programming it's easy but uh, you are, need to be patient you need to be patient you need to practice and practice and this therefore when you want uh, to make difference in website uh, for example we are Pythoners and we don't want to code a lot there is a uh, there is a blog that you can visit and take uh, templates for free this one it's called the startbootstrap.com uh, uh, just uh, hand over to the start uh, the the start bootstrap.com startbootstrap.com and there you see many themes you choose one from there and uh, you incorporate it into your you incorporate it into your pro, pro, pro project and uh, the and the work will be easier so you just end it end it end it and then you become this one of mine i'm also i get it from the the same place i get it from the same place and uh, let me show you yeah i get it from here the startup bootstrap.com and uh, it is actually it is able to show you how the thing will be in uh, iphone how the thing will be in mobile and so on so this is the best uh, area where you can be drawing the themes and then incorporate into your project if you want and uh, you know Python, as i said we need automation 
something that you don't just do every time after you just do something small the rest is done automatically now this one is there and having given you that i think that can assist where well, uh, i want to thank you and uh, subscribe support this thing subscribing is free and uh, it will be highly appreciated thank you